Have you been wondering kung paano na makukuha yung amounts na dinededak sa inyo for your SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig Contribution? Then, this video is made for you. This is Mandatory Employee Deductions You Need to Know. Part ako ng customer relations ng hire. We are helping companies specifically on upgrading their HR and employee tools. For this video, I will explain how your HRs or the payroll system computes your statutory deductions. So pwede nyo na rin sila makompute on your own para mas magkaroon kayo ng solid proof if may mga payslip concerns kayo. Before we jump into details, explain ko muna in two different types of computation ng SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig. May mga companies kasi na based on basic salary. And may mga companies din na based on gross. So first, ano ba yung based on basic salary? Ito yung naka-base lang sa kung ano yung monthly rate mo. Regardless kung may mga absences ka, tardiness, or mga overtime. So ibig sabihin, fixed lang siya monthly. As in never magbabago yung contribution mo any month of the year. Unless magkakaroon ka ng mga salary increase. Second, ano yung based on gross? Ito yung nakabase sa kung magkano yung nagiging earnings mo for a month. Kung nagkakaroon ka ng absences, tardy, or mga overtime. Isasama sila sa ito total before mag-look up sa government bracket. Pero take note, kung sabihin ng HR sa inyo na base kay sa gross, kailangan nyo pang mag-dig deeper kung ano-ano yung mga sinasama sa gross. Baka kasi mga allowances kayo, de minimis, or any other earnings. Kailangan nyo ma-identify with your HR kasama ba sila sa computation or hindi. Once identified nyo na with your HR, yung SSS, PhilHealth, yung pag-ibig computation nyo ba is based on basic or based on gross. Pwede magkakaiba, like yung PhilHealth and pag-ibig is based on basic, tapos yung SSS based on gross. So let's start with your pag-ibig contribution. Makikita natin sa pag-ibig table, employee share, 1% if your monthly compensation is 1,500 and below. Therefore, kung 1,000 pesos ang naging monthly compensation mo, 10 pesos ang pag-ibig contribution mo for that month. And if over 1,500, it will become 2% of your compensation. Therefore, if your monthly compensation is 4,500, ang magiging contribution mo for that month is 90 pesos. Pero kung around 10,000 or above na yung monthly compensation mo, may maximum contribution sa si pag-ibig table na 100 pesos per month. Therefore, your pag-ibig contribution per month is hindi lalagpas na 100 pesos. Unless, nag-request ka sa pag-ibig na padagdagan yung monthly contribution mo and i-deduct na lang sa salary mo. Pero yung employer contribution will still be 100 pesos. And now, let's proceed to fill health contribution. Makikita naman natin sa filler table na if your monthly basic salary is up to 10,000 pesos, your monthly premium is 300 pesos. But the 300 pesos should be divided by 2. Bakit? Kasi hati kayo ng employer jet. Therefore, if your monthly basic salary is 10,000 pesos or below, ang contribution mo as an employee should be 150 pesos. And if above sa 10,000 pesos ang monthly basic salary mo, pero less than sa 60,000 pesos, it will be computed as percentage which is 3%. And again, divided by 2, since hati kayo ng employer sa magiging total. For example, 18,000 ang monthly basic salary mo. So 18,000, 3% of that is equal to 540. Then divided by 2, and the answer is 270. Therefore, your vehicle contribution for that month should be 270 pesos, same with your employer. Pero paano kung 60,000 and above na yung monthly basic salary mo? Merong maximum contribution din si PhilHealth, which is 1,800. And again, hati kayo ng employer dito. Therefore, 900 ang maximum employee contribution per month for employees. And lastly, is your SSS contribution. By law, dapat daw based sa gross yung SSS contribution ng employee. Pero again, May iba't ibang internal policy yung mga company sa Pilipinas. So, kailangan nyo pa rin confirm sa HR nyo. So, if your company is following the law, basically, 
kailangan nyo lang kunin kung magkano yung gross nyo. For example, twice a month yung payout nyo. First payout is may basic salary kayo na 9,000. Third din na 155.17. And may absent kayo na 1,655.17. Pero may OT kayo, for example, na 129.31. So, ang magiging gross nyo for that payout is... 7,318.97 Makikita natin sa SS table na ang 7,318.97 is under ng range from 7,250 to 7,749.99 Therefore, ang SS's contribution nyo for this payout should be 337.50 Pero paano sa second payout nyo? For example, wala na kayong tardy, under time absent, or any overtime. So, ang gross nyo will be 9,000 pesos. The computation should be considered your first payout gross. So, first payout na 7,318.97 plus second payout na 9,000 pesos is equal to 16,318.97. So, sa SSS bracket, 16,318.97 will fall on range from 6,250 to 6,749.99 with 742.50 na contribution. Pero may deduction na. Yung first payout, di ba? Kailangan nyo nilang ilis yun. So, formula will be 742.50 minus 337.50 so 405 na lang dapat ang ididak sa inyo for your second payout SSS contribution. And that's it. I hope nakatulong sa inyo. Kung gusto niyo malaman how does your SSS, Teen Health, and Pag-ibig contribution derives, at nahihiya kayo magtanong ka HR, you can compute it on your own. Kung may clarifications, questions, or any queries, feel free to comment on this video, and our team will answer all your concerns. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to help us reach more those who needed help.